They claim the soul Bible has outlived its day. That there are some changes that need to be made. Let no man deceive Take your Bibles or turn with me to Matthew 24. Truth is determined by the test of time. Trust the old Bible with its fees and bounds. Never mind those people who want to throw it out. Churches are drifting and falling away. We need the soul book more than ever with the Bible and with the middle new. Nothing is sacred, oh what will the children do? Our way of life is changing and people don't care. The signs of the end we seen everywhere. Trust the old Bible with its thieves. simply will not do. They've tried to replace it and shove it aside. But God is its author. He said it will abide. Trust the old Bible with its thieves and bounds. Never mind those people who want to throw it out. Churches are drifting Falling away, we need the soul book more than ever today. Jesus is coming to judge and decide. He will determine whose heart is right. The Bible is sacred. Welcome to Empty Cross Ministries Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. Because we use the King James Version, we look at the verses, bring them to life, and expose the meaning. It's been a while since we've been on. I was taking some uh, much-needed rest, and we're probably not going to be on every day for a while here. Until we get some things figured out here, as far as scheduling goes. But stay tuned, we'll be on. Today we're going to be looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 3, where Nicodemus visits Jesus and they talk about being born again. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the most popular stories told to explain what it means to be saved from hell is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 3. It is the story about Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a very influential, scripturally educated leader of the Jews. Look at the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 1. Perhaps this ruler was afraid, ashamed, or embarrassed to be seen with Jesus, who was causing much confusion among the Jews he was leading. For whatever reason, Nicodemus visited Jesus at night. Jesus told this man a spiritual truth that has troubled many people since. John chapter 3 verse 3 says, Except a man be born again, 
he cannot see the kingdom of God. Immediately, the strict follower of the Jewish law admitted he did not understand what Jesus was saying. The leader questioned if Jesus was saying that his physical body had to be rebirthed. Look at verse 4 of uh, John chapter 3. This man had much spiritual learning, but he was missing something fundamental. He was missing an understanding of spiritual things. Jesus went on to explain to the man how all could know, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus went on to explain to the man how all could know if they were heaven bound when they die. The way of salvation involves believing in Jesus only. Salvation hinges on belief. People must look to Jesus and trust his death on the cross as the only payment for the forgiveness of sins that God will accept. Salvation cannot be earned by anything that is done or said. Jesus has done it all for us by his sacrifice. <coughs> A most probably most familiar uh, verse to, for all of us is uh, the Gospel of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our thought for today is uh, born once, die twice. Born twice, die once. Before we get to our scripture, there's a few words we need to understand what they mean. That phrase, born again, is the spiritual birth one has when it is recognized they are a sinner bound for hell. But by confessing that and trusting that Jesus paid for their sin debt, they will have the God's promise of heaven. That word manifest means to clearly see or something that is revealed. That word purifying means to cleanse from sin, to make clean. And that brings us up to our scripture, the Gospel of John, chapter 3. And I'm going to read the entire chapter as soon as I get a drink of water here. <clears throat> Gospel of John, chapter 3, beginning of verse 1. Once again, I am reading from the King James Version. John, chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do, do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, 
but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and man loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon near to Salim, where because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This is my joy, therefore is fulfilled. He must increase, and I, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all, and he that is of earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all, and what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that receiveth his testimony hath set to seal that God, that set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. This has been Empty Cross Ministries Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. I would ask that you tune in and listen for us. We will be on frequently, but maybe not every day. But we will be on frequently. We're going to close out with a prayer and a song here. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you do and all that you provide for us. You are the provider. You are our healer. You are our God. And you are an awesome God. Father, be with those that are suffering from any kind of illness, whether it be mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual. Just uh, put your healing touch upon them and heal them from all their wounds and all their suffering. Father, be with those that are facing the loss of a loved one. Grant them your comfort and make your presence known to them in ways that only you can do and in ways that they can see, feel, and understand. Father, thank you most of all 
for the opportunity to come before you and be born again, be born of the Spirit, that we might have fellowship with you in heaven once again. Father, thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and suffer the stripes for our sins. It's in his name that we pray these things. Amen. Folks, stay safe. Be blessed. Stay in the word and write the word upon your heart. Savior forever, He sought me.